Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Curry's Essentials washing machine, a C510 WM14. It's got a bit of an issue with the spider, I think. You can see all this dust in here, maybe. This is all rubber crumb that's come off the door seal. And uh, you can see this tub going in and out here relative to the rubber. So it's probable that one of the legs of the spider has come detached or snapped or something inside. and. When it spins around it vibrates, makes noise, and makes a lot of smoke. So there's not much I could do with this machine as it is. You can't really fix a spider. You can, but it's so much work, it's not worth it. This is the cheapest possible machine you could buy at the time, which is probably about 10 years ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hotwire the motor and just see what happens. So before I go in underneath and look at the motor, let's just have a look underneath the top and see what's inside. I've taken out two screws at the back, one on each side, pull that back. So what can we see in here? Big lump of concrete, very clean. That's just, you know, there's dust there, a bit of black dust, carbon or whatnot, but it's it's relatively very clean. Let's see if there's a date on that. Oh, 2015. So it's only six years old, this machine, which is not great service for a spider failure. Yeah, 2015, six years old. It's 2021 now. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, five and a half years old. That's not great, I thought it was a lot older. Let's have a look at the nameplate on the back here as well. There you go, made in Turkey. Curry's Essentials C510WM14. Not great service, I would say. So what do I need? I would like those connectors on that piece of wire to hot wire it. So I'll take out, oh, I don't need to, I'll pull this up, okay. And I could probably just yank these off if they're not attached so I can use that for hot wiring it yeah neutral live and earth the earth one has this little tiny tab on it which is going to be tricky to press off but maybe they can do it so the earth connector has this little button that you press just there and it releases that pin in the center just a tiny bit so you have to press it down with a screwdriver or your fingernail and that gets that off, and then that comes out, and that will form a major part of the hot wiring experience. Just like that. So in underneath is the motor, and I can see that it's got a commutator ring and carbon brushes so it's a brushed universal motor which means it's easy to hot wire and I've posted a video about that which will explain everything in much better detail than today there's some codes on it 1000 rpm seems a bit low it should go about 15 times faster than that so like I said everything is quite clean but I guess it's a five-year-old machine it's obviously disconnected from the power because I've pulled the power cable off it. There is the connector block. Now I've got two green wires here going to the taco up on the end. So I'll ignore them. They go to the left, well to the front, the bit that's closest to the camera here. And then we've got red, which is a brush, grey, white and blue. And if we can see what's on the other brush, it would be a great help. Um, that white cable that comes around the bottom there. Where does it go? This one. Grey. So grey and red are brushes and the other ones should be windings. So I will put the power into a brush, then use a small jumper cable to jump from a brush to a winding and then take the power out of the other side of the winding. Okay, take a connector into a brush, if it'll fit, yeah. So out of a brush and into a winding, I hope. Can't quite see what I'm doing, so there might be an element of trial and error. And then let's put some power on. Right then, I've got it rigged up on the Variac. Let's plug it in. Let's bring up the volts. No, I haven't done it correctly, I don't think, because it's not spinning. Power is on. Let's try. Flipping these back to. Yeah, 
you know what? I'm not even sure I was connected to anything there. Might have just pushed the connector into nothing. Put it on like that. Right, let's plug it in again. So as it stands, there's not much more to do to it other than to give it a bit of a bit of a test run. What I'm going to do is just run it and let it run and just see what happens. See if we can get it to smoke up. I'll bring it outside and we'll see what happens. So here we are outside and hot wired. I'm just going to crank up the power and leave it to it for a while. So it didn't seem to do very much there. No smoke, a bit more dust, but uh, it might have rubbed all it needs to rub off there, off that door seal. I don't know. I guess we'll leave it for now. We have hot wired it. We have tested it. In the next video, we'll smash it. Questions or comments or any suggestions, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.